second we're dealing with negative exponents. I have p to the second over p to the negative 5. Um, when I have negative exponents, we don't want to have them. It's not proper. So if it's on the top of a fraction, I need to move it to the bottom. If it's on the bottom, I need to move it to the top to make it positive. So right now, my negative exponent is on the bottom. So what I need to do is move it to the top. I don't do anything with the p to the second. That stays the same because it's positive. When I move p to the fifth to the top, it's still all over 1. When everything's gone, it's all over 1. And then I'm not done because I can combine this. p to the second and p to the fifth, I add those exponents, I get p to the seventh, which is d. Number two here, we have x to the negative four, y to the fifth, all raised to the negative two power. So when it's on the outside here, I need to distribute to everything on the inside. Remembering that with my exponents, I multiply. So a negative two, times a negative 4, I get a positive 8. I distribute here, y, 5 times negative 2 is a negative 10. Again, I can't have a negative exponent. Right now it's all over 1, so now it's on the top. So the only one that I'm going to move is my negative y to the negative 10. It goes to the bottom since it's on the top. So on the top, x to the 8 stays there. I move y to the 10th on the bottom to make it positive. I can't simplify any farther, therefore my answer is C. Number three. Here we have 5R squared, R to the negative fifth, raised to the negative second. 17, r to the negative 2, all raised to the negative 3. So what I need to do is distribute, I'm going to leave my 5r squared. Here we multiply our exponents. Negative 5 times negative 2 is a positive 10. On the bottom we're going to do the same thing. We multiply our exponents. So a negative 2 times a negative 3 is a positive 6. Therefore now all my exponents are positive. I don't need to move anything around. Now I'm looking at the top. I have r to the 2nd, r to the 10th. I can combine those to make r to the 12th. We just add our exponents. And I'm still not done because I can simplify here. I have r to the 12 on the top, r to the 6 on the bottom. I can take 6 away. The, the r to the 6 is on the bottom. On top, I'm left with 5r to the 6. On the bottom, I'm just left with 17. Therefore, we get the choice b as my answer. And we have one more here, number four. We have three to the negative seven, x to the negative six, y to the second, all over three to the negative four, x to the negative ninth, y to the fourth. Okay, so I'm going to write the ones that have positive exponents because I don't need to move those around. Those are my positive exponents, they stay the same. Everything else I'm going to flip-flop. So that r to the negative 7 goes to the bottom, r to the 7th. That x to the negative 6 goes to the bottom. Now on the bottom I had r to the negative 4, therefore I'm going to move it to the top. And x to the negative 9 I'm going to move to the top to make it positive. Now all my exponents are positive, now I just need to simplify. I have 3 to the 4th on top, 3 to the 7th on the bottom. I can take away 4. If I take away 4, they're all gone here. I take away 4 here, I'm left with 3. Now I'm looking at my x's. I have 6 on the bottom, 9 on the top. Therefore, I can get rid of 6 of them. So I'm left with 3 on the top. My y's. I have y squared on the top and y to the 4th. I can get rid of 2. So on the top, I'm just left with x to the 3rd. On the bottom, 3 to the 3rd. 3 to the 3rd is 3 times 3 times 3, which I get 27, and then I still have y squared. So my answer is x to the third, 27, y to the second. So move those negatives and then simplify.